Welcome back. Today we are doing the box and lasso trim. We're going to be trimming. So let's go new file general in your blender and do new save as. I'm just going to call it box lasso trim and save it. Go ahead and set up Suzanne for sculpting. Even though we're not really going to be sculpting, we're just going to be using some of the tools here. But let's pretend we are. So multi-resolution, subdivide to five, four or five. Maybe even three if you have a slow computer. And we'll do control tab down. Now we're in sculpt mode. And like I said, we're not using the brushes today. We're gonna keep on going to this next section and do box trim. So notice this has a little triangle there too. So you can hold that and do box trim and lasso trim. So similar thing, different execution. So box trim, we'll do first. When you first use the box trim, it's supposed to essentially like cut out or cut off the mesh when you let go, but notice nothing happens, but it doesn't actually work with the multi-res turned on. So to affect this, you have to turn off the effect, uh, really just the little screen here. And this is a very destructive tool. So I, I wouldn't really recommend using it unless you really just have a certain reason for it, or maybe it's one of your very, 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 very last steps, if ever, uh, but this is what it does. So now if you click and drag and draw, bloop, it will cut off that geometry and make a nice clean edge. So that's pretty awesome, but this is very destructive. So now when we turn on our multi-res, it's gonna try and do its best to you know fill that in. I would personally just use uh, Booleans, but depending on what you're trying to do, this may be very helpful for you. So again, we have multi-res turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and then just click and drag down and see nothing happens. But if we turn that off, go into our base mesh and click and drag the ear, now we've got something here. We've got a nice clean cut on the ear. If we turn multi-res back on, notice it's tried to do its best to make a nice clean cut, but you can kind of see some artifacting going on right there. If we go into our wireframe, notice we've got some weird uh, kind of artifacting happening, which may not be good for our slicer. So if you see stuff like this with everything kind of crunched in on itself, you may want to try and uh, you know take a brush and just smooth it on out because that is not gonna be good when you get to slicing. You could always remesh, but you know, I just wanna show you kind of the, the pros and cons of using this tool, this trim tool. So I would say, you know, um, it's, it's very early. Right now you can only get it uh, if you're in the alpha version down here. But it is coming and I'm sure they're gonna make some improvements and adjustments where one day you can use it with your modifier. So go ahead and try that if you are uh, doing this later in time. But that is the box trim. So let's turn our multi-res back off, go ahead and save, and let's flip over into the lasso trim. So it's gonna be very similar to the other one, uh, the box trim, but you're gonna be able to be a little bit more free in the way you select things. So notice we've got a nice chunk taken out. So say if we wanted to make it look like, you know, her ear got ripped or, you know, piercing got ripped out or something crazy, then that would definitely be one way to do it. Turn our multi-res back on. And notice we've got, again, some weird artifacting going on up here. We'll turn our wireframes off. You can see Blender didn't really know what to do with it. Um, this tool is still in early, early stages, but I just want to show you that uh, you know, they're working on something like this, which would be incredible if you could use it with your modifiers, you know, and just start subtracting things really easily. So definitely a tool to look out for in the future. And again, like I said, this is probably going to get updated way more uh, over the next few months. So yeah, that is the box trim and the lasso trim uh, tool. And let's go ahead and jump into the next brush or tool, the line project. 